The Circle of Memory is a public space for the remembrance of children who've died or have been lost. I love the contrast of stepping off of the sidewalk into this building with lots of glass and concrete and coming upon the straw bale structure that has a smell, this rich aroma of the straw and the texture and something that you wouldn't expect to find here. I went to Ireland and while I was there, we went into a number of these cairns, these stone passage tombs. At one point we had a ceremony inside with uh, candles and a group of us at night. And we just called out the names of people who died that were important to us. And for me, the most powerful thing was calling the name of my son who had died in an accident uh, a few years before. And then a number of years later, this idea came together of building a structure based on the uh, cairns, these passage tomb forms. At the end of the passageway, you come upon a translucent veil that's actually made out of pig gut. And so it has this very organic quality. There is low lighting and the sound of children's voices counting. And then there's the salt fall, this thin stream of particles of salt falling from the darkened ceiling and catching the light and accumulating on the floor. It's evolving and changing and speaks of the passing of time and it speaks of tears, salty tears. We tried to make the space as non-suggestive as possible so that a person would come and have their own experience. We just recently lost our daughter. It was emotional. I, I cried. Um, I had a hard time leaving there. It felt like I wanted to be in there longer. Here in Oakland in particular, there's been a lot of loss of young life through violence, and I think it's very relevant in this community. Any time we take time to, to be reflective, we are bringing ourselves more into balance and so it definitely has a healing element to it.